Viewers of The Crown can expect in season five, it's the 1990s and the monarchy was going through a difficult time. Various members of the royal family were finding it difficult. They're all a bit older, inevitably, and yet they're coming up against it in terms of the, the way they're, they're affected by some of their private lives and personal decisions. You, as future king, have a duty. People will never understand how it's really been for me. Well, I think the season five, uh, what people will take from the so-called behind the scenes is that these are all events that happened in the early 90s that the, the world knows about and certainly British society knows about. And part of the fascination of The Crown is that they do go behind the closed doors and provide some kind of understanding of the royals and how they dealt with these issues, either practically or emotionally. And that's the only reason the crown exists, is to show you behind the doors. I think empathy is very much in this series and has been from the very first season that they did. That's the point of a drama. If you're showing characters, whether they're real or not, surely you're inviting the audience to look at it with kind eyes, or at least try to understand the dilemmas of these characters. And I think Peter Morgan's writing allows that to happen. For years I've called for a monarchy that reflects the world outside. I don't think it's my behavior that's threatening its survival. What is love, or how does love exist in a, in a system like the royal family? I think uh, love is in any family and should be in every family and I think that when you think of the royal family it's kind of sometimes you can sort of think they're somehow different and separate and almost like a different breed of person but they're not you know they're they're, they're human beings with with hearts and feelings and broken hearts and regrets and pain and grief they are exactly the same as you and I. But of course, it's, very, it's sometimes you have to remind yourself of that, and that's what the, the Crown scripts can do. They can take us into the, the thoughts and feelings of them and show them as people separate from being royals. There's a lovely scene later on in it when Princess Margaret and Queen Elizabeth have a kind of a bit of a showdown together. And, you know, that is, that is not a scene about a monarch and a princess. It's a scene about two sisters. What counts? A prohibition, incidentally. You are not now extending to Anne. That is different. How is it different? And that's what's crucial about it. And that, that affords you to go dramatically to a lot of very interesting places. As far as the Queen is concerned, and for Prince Philip, when they met, although an arranged marriage it may well have been, they were very much in love, and I think that was very lucky. But they both knew the responsibilities they, that they had going forward in their lives as the Queen and Prince Philip. So to have love as a, as, as a very good baseline, I think, helped them enormously. And I think it's the only way they could have existed for so long. To, to actually be in love rather than just be tolerating each other for 70 years. You make a better person of me. And you of me. Isn't that the point of marriage? You know, through these, these difficult times which we're seeing in season five, uh, for many people, all our lives have difficult periods. These are highlighted because in, in England, you know, the Queen and, and Prince Philip and the royal family have been in our lives, our, our whole lives. And you just take them for granted and uh, you think, oh yeah, yeah, they're doing this, they're doing that. And of course you don't really look at them seriously or consider what they're going through, or what their lives are, not really. And Peter Morgan's trying to just give a little glimpse into what it might have been like to be faced with tragedy, with divorces, with various situations. That's what's very exciting and about this particular season. 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.